Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines with your three loads in the demand. Now last time we went and caught Sakrakus. Look, it's here. It's missing a key. That's fine. Hey. My Wunderkind returns. In my entire court I knew there was only one who could have succeeded in this task. Finally, the Ankoran sarcophagus is ours. Come. I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Know what? How do you say alliance in Chinese? Did the Great Chin teach you that? What? Preposterous. No kindred would trust them, nor would they trust us. Did Jack tell you that? Because it sounds like you've been taken for a fool. I've been taken for a ride. And you believed them. They've been trying to take over L.A. for years. It's a ruse, a falsehood, spread to undermine my rule and turn kindred against each other, thin our ranks. They are duplicitous, evil creatures. Did they not try to kill you? Lots of people have. Insurance. They lied to you in case you lived through the encounter. They hoped to create dissension in the ranks, rumors... It's a trick older than you or I. Paranoia again. Let's open the box. Box, 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 box. What's in what the have box? You assessed so far? Unfortunately hmm. for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth shattering. I see. Then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. <clears throat> oh, budge. Beckett, do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't as yet had a chance to pour over it with my fine tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <clears throat> why won't it. Why won't it open, Beckett? And you? I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane. I want it open! You! You and Beckett, figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. I know what's inside. Ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus. If only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. Ooh, what's in the box? Put your ear to it. I'll shake it, and you tell me what you think's inside. Better idea? Yes, quite astute. Fortunately for us, I know of someone who has distinguished himself in this field. That guy in the historical network with the Biff helmet? He makes learning fun. Uh, no. His name is Dr. Anders Johansson. A professor of archaeology from Norway. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. He, he, oh, has he lost himself? Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening, all I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper. Appears he's been abducted. Why must all the hoops be on fire? Where's the fun? Without complications. Where does the trail end? I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually burned in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding Johansson captive. Neat. I would have taken the opportunity to see if mattresses can fly. Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building opposite the hotel who were positively delighted to tell me everything they knew, provided I stopped dangling them head first over the side. The hunters collect the archaeologists now? Good, they needed a hobby. The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection, or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used, quite ingeniously, as bait for Prince Lacroix's minion. That's me! Leopold is a good name for a turtle. 
Sebastian mentioned you ran into one of the hunters from the Society of Leopold some time ago. They're so secret a church organization, I don't even think they know if they exist. But essentially, they're murderers for Christ or some such deity. Hunt the Zeglan and corn chips to come in bags. I mean, they crunch on the food? Hmm. It's easy to assume proficiency in something you've never done, isn't it? I killed seven in one blow. Maybe it was chance, though. Be that as it may, these hunters are leagues above the security guard turned vampire killer you might have encountered thus far. Hunters? Uh huh. Where? You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. Can I borrow your airship? I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly, Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. I want something from your brain. Excellent. Tell me more of this mysterious Leopold character. The society, for the most part, knows very little about us. But they do know how to kill and torture us, and that's enough. Also, some of them exhibit powers that can make them quite formidable. Obfuscate will serve you well around the hunters. Is the box Pandora's? Well, if we open it up and the world ends, then yes. If we open it up and the world does not end, then no. I'd wager the latter. I believe you're right. Uh, what does the din blood it? How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least uneasy, around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. If I was a mirror, who is that person you're staring at? Hmm. I've said quite a lot about myself already. I know even less about you than you do me. Why don't you tell me about yourself? I devour knowledge like the great worm devours the corpse of society. I consider myself a seeker of reluctant information. Scholar sounds like academia. Ugh. How versed are you in the occult? The most forbidden knowledge is the sweetest fruit. When you have a year or two, you should really invest time in seeking out a copy of The Book of Nod. It's a collection of kindred lore, with a few annotations by a certain renowned gangrel explorer. Unless you've got further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. Another morsel of your brain. That's the wrong button. Another morsel. Okay, here we go. Another morsel of your brain. Excellent. Okay, the Leopold agreed. Remember, Dr. Johansson is an innocent. He has no idea we actually exist. Try not to put the idea in his head. What idea? That there are vampires? Hello, are you a vampire? Did you find a way to open the sarcophagus? The sarcophagus is secure. I wish my finances were similar. I can't have my protege looking plebeian, can I? You'll find I can be very generous towards those who serve me well. Yes, I wonder something. Which is? Tell me of the Eastern Kindred who are not kindred. Traditionally, the Kuei Jin have stayed in Asian territory and the Kindred Europe and later North America. But recently, they invaded the West Coast killing off a substantial number of Anarchs. They lack the organization of the Camarilla and think nothing of breaking the masquerade. Though we share similar traits, there is no fraternity between us. We embrace. They rise from the grave. They do not know the pleasure of blood. They are without clan. And oh yes, they believe our kind to be inferior. They are as much of a threat as the wolves. Wolves? Werewolves. I can still recall a time when cities were surrounded by miles of forests full of the beasts. But progress has taken care of that problem. I wonder something else. Which is... What's in the box? If you didn't take the time to ask, perhaps we'd know by now. As I mentioned before, my concern is that it pertains something supernatural. Now Beckett has waived his theory altogether. 
The city is alight with dread. Perhaps it's an antediluvian. Antediluvian? A joke. The antediluvians are the mythical progenitors of each of the clans for whom they trace their bloodlines. And according to mythology, descendants of Cain, the legendary first vampire. That name sounds eerily familiar. As in the biblical Cain and Abel? Before you put too much stock in it, realize that the church and all of its mythos are blends of kindred and mortal meddling. Whips to regulate weak minds. This is all Beckett's field of expertise. If you want a lesson, merely ask him. I want something else. Which is... None. Bye-bye. Okay, how's my fi finances? 2,508. No, that's still not enough for a... What's some, what shall I call it? A... Class. Oh! Yes. Dodge. And now, I can learn how to dodge good. No bullet may further harm me. I absolutely doubt that I can go and uh, get myself a nice little knife. No, I I could get the knife if I didn't already carry a knife, which I could sell. And then I could just not stare at the giant spider on my wall and instead just uh, worry about the... Uh, watch him call him. Uh, worry about the... Uh, Cleaning up the street of all of the knives because it's dangerous to walk on knives. Hi. Yes. The dead book, Vida. The Voce del Morte. The Giovanni never willingly share their secrets, and I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? They never knew I was there. Not did I. Where did they go? It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from the city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. It is the key of Alamut. It instills dread in those that would harm you, and makes it harder for them to strike you. Make no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. I will give you this final advice, however. Leave this city. These are its final nights. Discord looms heavy. I felt this before. Yes, Discord hangs over us like a heavy apple on a withering branch. In November of 1938, I was translating documents in Leipzig, Germany, written by a purported Crusades-era necromancer. There also, I felt a sense of impending chaos. Soon after was the Kristallnacht, the wellspring of a new world war. One can jump high but never escape gravity. Farewell. There's gonna be a boom. No spoilers. There it goes. He's spoiler. Uh, what's this? Increases all soak ratings by one. Nice. So I'm pretty... Pretty effective in not dying, I guess. I like to think so at least, though so odds are I will probably still end up in some trouble here and there. Anyway, I'm stop gonna stop by home. Hey. Hey. Heard anything? Nope, you? Did you hear the one about the tuna and the chef? Uh, no. A tuna walks into a sushi restaurant, says to the chef, Hey, you killed my father. Chef says to the tuna, That's my business, fish. Tuna thinks about it, says, Then I challenge you to a game of chess. If I win, you stop being a chef forever. And if I win, ask the chef. You can feed me to your customers, Tuna replies. So the chef and Tuna play chess. Tuna's love to play chess, so in a few moves, the chef was checkmated. Well, looks like I win, says the Tuna. Chef nods and plunges his knife into the fish's belly. But I won, says the Tuna, as he feels the knife wiggling into his guts. So did your father, says the chef. <laughs> yes, it's he. <laughs> Good night, and have a pleasant evening. You too. Bye-bye. Yes, -bye. stoned a policeman to death after mistaking him for the deer man, a creature locals say has terrorized them for weeks and is thought to be responsible for the mysterious deaths of several village children. The deer man is reported as a seven-foot creature with horns that ambushes villagers at night. 
New Delhi has also been host to the Monkey Man, the Bear Man, and the killer UFOs, all of which were later dismissed as mass hysteria. Freak sandstorm activity is thought to be responsible for the destruction of two Navy fighter jets. The jets were returning from a patrol over the Persian Gulf when they disappeared off of radars. A transcript of a final radio exchange between the pilots mentioned wind conditions picking up and skies becoming so thick with sand that the sun was being blocked. Shortly after this exchange, there was a garbled shout by the co-pilot and finally radio silence. Military officials have dispatched several units to the area to search for the crew and the missing aircraft. The names of the pilots are being withheld until their status can be confirmed. A shootout at a popular Chinatown underground club tonight left several dead and wounded after shots were exchanged between a local gang and you. The club, Glaze, was a known hangout for one of Chinatown's largest street gangs, but was also a popular hangout for local club kids. One witness stated that the exchange was all like, pow, pow, ah, take that, ooh, you got me, ooh, you wascally wabbit, take that, blam, aye. Mobs of villagers in New Delhi, India. Yeah, I can uh, confirm that it was like, oh, wow, 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 aye. Master? Me? Not here. Oh, you don't have anything new for me right now. Well, that's okay. I don't mind. Right, email. Show me what we got. 13. Oh, I do hope the knights have been kind. You were on my mind tonight and I must admit it was inspiring. I wrote this for you. Death cannot smother love. Dead hearts are not always broken. Plant a kiss on my corpse. Love blossoms. Do you love it? Yeah. The success of a campaign is weighed by the commitment of your opponent. Yeah. And my opponent is not sufficiently committed. Because they don't have a let's play to finish. That is what keeps me committed. Oh, I heard a gunshot. Why did I hear a gunshot? Is is that just uh, my character being insane, or was there an actual gunshot? I'm very confused right now. Can I find some corpses? Who shot whom? Why was the gunfire? It might not have been gunfire, it might have just been my mind. Hop in. Do you have a gift for me? Evening. About that gift, can I have it now? Here. And thanks again for your help earlier. And remember what I told you about LaCroix. You're good, kid. He doesn't deserve you. Serve has nothing to do with it. I'm gone. I... Just have a plotline. Lucy's Lacy Lingerie. That sounds fun. Lon lingerie? That's that's how you pronounce it, right? I know English. Really? I do. I've spoken like two English words before. Honest. All of the load screens currently are about the Inquisition because of the Society of Leopold and their supposed nature as the current uh, manifestation of the Inquisition. I can't take that ammo. Hi! I'm hoping you're enjoying your dinner. I hope you like your rats. That's a classic joke for that. There doesn't seem to be immediately visible, but that's Gary for you. Cemetery runoff, Cemetery runoff but I didn't catch the, the end of that sentence. Hey, wait. What is the gold jump? Is my inventory full again? If I drop this clipboard, can I be pick up the gold jump? Holding this rough hewn amber stone gives you a sense of peace and even a glimmer of hope for salvation. You are able to hold the effects of most passive disciplines long at, as long as you possess cast Calgium. Their durations are increased by 25%. I didn't expect it to be here, to be honest. Apparently, there's a lot of things that run on. I need that one. But there are a lot of items. 
that do need to be in my inventory, which means I cannot... Oh, I, I can't drop that one. But apparently I don't need to carry everything around at all times. Because otherwise I will not have the room for all my magic items. So instead there will be this little pile here full of purses and ledgers and diaries. Which you're no one in mind. Hi love. <laughs> Did you see the papers? She killed herself. Can you believe it? After the story hit the tabloids, she swallowed half a bottle of Valium and washed it down with a fifth of gin. It couldn't have been more perfect. Wow. Okay. I didn't remember that that was how the story ended. So, well, my hands are blood red. Now where's the green? Here. You definitely earned it. Life is the rich and the dead. Well... I leave you. Ooh, what's this? Draw the session supermodel caught in threesome with boyfriend. Llama? Llama? You what, mate? Hey. Why did my hair grave matter? Sure. How, how did you get a llama into the deal? How, how did it get. Well, okay, I guess llamas can climb stairs. But. Were they big fans of The Sims? The Sim franchise? They, they do a lot with llamas in that. Hey, but Hey, buddy? You're not here. And that door... It's not openable. Right, I'm back at the beginning of this area. Last time we did not come in this way at all. And I just want to check if there's anything here. Like the tiniest piece of anything useful. The answer appears to be no. That just wouldn't be my luck, would it? Look at my pile. Goodbye, pile. I'm gonna drop the purse in front of Lily, maybe? I'm about to give it back to her, and she's just not willing to have it. 100% unwilling to take it. Oh well, man. Such is the world. Such is the life. Or one life. I do hope you're enjoying your rats. Well, I'll call this episode here. Next time we will talk with our little Kepi here. And uh, then we will take this taxi and go right into the society of Leopold and we will try and, you know, save a dude. It will not go as well as it could because it never does. But that's fine. Anyway, that's how it will do next. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.